Wow, uh, what's going on guys? It's Oz from 3 Guys Tech, and honestly, I really don't know where to start with this video. Today we're taking a quick look at, well not a quick look, but a uh, look at Google I.O. 2012. Now this was an event that took place on Wednesday, June 27, 2012, and I have to say, Google, I'm more than impressed. They, they announced so many things, and it's a little overwhelming for me, so I'm going to try and make it a little bit more concise for you guys. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, guys, there's a lot of information here, so bear with me. First of all, Jelly Bean Android 4.1. Uh, this is just going to be a pretty decent upgrade to Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. This is going to be Android 4.1. And one of the main additions to Jelly Bean is Project Butter. Now, if you ever heard the phrase smooth like butter, that's exactly what they're trying to go to. The Android team tried to bump up Jelly Bean's frame rate to 60 frames per second. So all of you guys who have the new Samsung Galaxy S3, you can expect that to be moving a lot more smoother than it already is, which is kind of hard to believe moving on we have new productivity tools such as multitasking new ways to open apps notifications users can now return phone calls from within the no notification shade android beam you guys know the nfc enabled bluetooth device you can share video files and sync up the camera app has also been updated to have a much faster way to review photos and uh, voice typing has also been tuned. As you can see here, you can have widgets on your home page, predictive keyboard, just a little improvements here and there. And another thing they introduced was Google Now, which is basically just live updates to things such as, such as traffic and weather and those things that you really need to have ready and accessible on the go. Now, availability for Jelly Bean will actually be uh, sometime in July. Now, moving on to Google Play. As you guys know, this is like the new Android marketplace. Uh, they just announced that they had over 600,000 apps and games on the Google Store, and they're introducing new features such as app encryption and smart app updates. So that's going to provide you guys more security for your phone and your apps, and also easy way to manage and update all of your applications on your phone. Now for a pretty big announcement, uh, the rumors are starting to get you know more accurate day to day uh, as we see these new devices coming out. Now the rumored Nexus tablet, which will be uh, actually manufactured by ASUS, is coming out and that is called the Nexus 7 to 7 inch screen tablet. It has a 1280 by 800 HD display, a Tegra 3 processor, it comes with a front facing camera you know, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC, and nine hours of HD video. As you can see here, they just have a few games playing on it. Uh, honestly, this thing is going to blow any Android device out the water. You'll be able to do just about anything you want with it. And again, it will have that buttery smooth UI. Now, the Nexus 7 is available starting today for $199. Moving on to Nexus Q, this is a small Android powered computer designed to live in your home. It plugs into TV and speakers in your house and it's always connected through the cloud. Now this is kind of like a digital jukebox connected through the cloud. And Nexus Q is $299, it ships in the US in July and pre-orders start today. Moving on, they gave us a few updates on Google Plus for tablets. And now we're moving on to one of the more exciting things which is Project Glass. Now, if you guys want to see my other video that I did on this, my first impressions video, you can click this annotation right here. But basically, they've made a whole bunch of improvements to Project Glass. Uh, we can actually see videos captured on glass. And it actually, the way that they explained it made it seem a lot more practical. Uh, when you need those moments that you need to share that otherwise you wouldn't be able to, such as one particular thing that they did uh, was with one of the presenters had a baby and you can't really capture some of these moments without you know having that first-hand experience and that is what Google Glass basically offers you now one I know the people who were actually at the IO event were very excited about they can actually pre-order basically an alpha version of Google Glass and that will be for fifteen hundred dollars and that will ship in early 2013 again that is only for IO attendees now sorry guys I kind of just skipped through a lot of that information I just wanted to give you guys a basic overview without going too much deep into the Google IO event but as you can see Google is making so many innovations and I was just again completely overwhelmed with all the information that they gave us today and hopefully we'll be seeing all of these devices in the near future so guys that's the 
general overview of Google I.O. This is awesome from Three Guys Tech. Again, if you guys want to see more news updates like this, subscribe to my channel for the, my latest videos. Like this video if you guys really like what Google is doing. And leave a comment down below telling me which devices you're especially excited for and which devices you'll be picking up in the future when they release. Awesome from Three Guys Tech, signing out, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.